So first up, what we need to do is we're going to go over on our keypad next to the number nine button. We're going to press that button there. And we have a couple of options for matrices. We have a two by two matrix. We have a uh, one by two or a two by one matrix that we can enter straight away. The fourth option here is a custom matrix. And we're going to be using this button quite, um, quite often because it lets us enter the number of rows that we want and the number of columns that we want. Once we have the matrix entered, you'll see the little cursor flashing in the first box for the first element. We're going to enter in our numbers and we use the tab button to go across from one box to another. If we use the right arrow from here, for example, what happens is it'll take us outside of the matrix and then the numbers that we enter will be outside of the matrix. Once we've entered in our matrix, we can give it a name. So we're going to press the control button, the blue button and VAR. And you'll notice that in blue above it is the store button and we can give it a name. Usually we just call it a letter. All we have to do now is press enter and the CAS will say that, yes, I know that this particular matrix is called A. From here, we can use a couple of functions in the CAS to transpose the matrix. So if we go into the menu button, we go down to number seven matrix and vector and transpose, you'll see that it'll change the matrix. So every row in the original matrix has now become a column. That's what transposing does. If we have stored multiple matrices, we can also just type in the letter, matrix A, go into menu, seven, two, and transpose it again that way. Let's look now at some basic arithmetic with our matrices. So I have here two matrices that I have entered. I have given them names and we're going to look at how to add, subtract, and even do some powers and uh, the scale of matrices as well. So something to note and something to remember when we're adding or subtracting matrices, we need to make sure that both matrices have the same order. In other words, they need to have the same number of rows and columns as each other. Otherwise, the, um, the addition and subtraction doesn't actually work. So I've entered in my matrices. I've called one A, I've called the other one B. And let's say that I want to do the first matrix plus the second matrix. All I need to do is A, plus B, you'll notice that the letters are in bold because the, the CAS knows what, uh, what variables you're talking about. It knows what matrices you mean. You press enter and it adds up the two matrices together. If we look at what, what it's done, it's taken each element, the first element in matrix A, and it's added it to the first element in matrix B. One plus two is three. Two plus six is eight. So addition is just adding up each corresponding element. If I want to do subtraction, for example, a minus B, same process. And now it's taken away the first element minus the second element in each matrix. One minus two is negative one. We can also find the powers of matrices. Now something to, to make sure that we have is a square matrix. When we're finding the powers of matrices, we need to have a square matrix or a two by two, three by three, four by four, and so on matrix. Otherwise it doesn't work. So to find the power of matrix C that I've entered here, I would simply type in C to the power of two and it would find that particular power. We could do the same with a different power and it will find C to the power of five and so on. I can also work out the scalar of matrices. So if I want to work out three times uh, matrix C, for example, I can simply do three times C and it'll work out the scalar or, or a scale matrix as well on the CAS. We can multiply matrices on the CAS as well, but we need to make sure to check the order of both matrices. And we'll talk about that in, a, in another video and in another lesson, but we can multiply matrices as well.